that Marie Louise and I wish you a most loving, a most loving St. Martin's Day. I have, in keeping with the day's theme and drawing from the Apostle Paul's powerful words on love, titled my message, Rebuilding St. Martin on Grace and Love. Rebuilding St. Martin on Grace and Love. Rebuilding St. Martin on grace and love. St. Martin's Day is a special day for me. That is because it is the symbol of our bond as a friendly St. Martin Samaritan people. A bond of love for our country, a bond which places country above self. St. Martin's Day therefore reminds us that we like a good family, must always remain bounded, united, to be strong and resilient in good and hard times. To do that, St. Martin's Day reminds us that we must, we must, in the tradition of our forefathers, accept, accept, and respect each other with all our differences and similarities and join forces within as well as across our north-south border. My fellow St. Martiners, in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma, the urgency to join forces and unify our resources with mutual respect and love is greater than any time in our recent history. We all have experienced the hurricane and need only to look around us to see that we have come a long way and that we have a long way to go. We, my brothers and sisters, French and Dutch, live in difficult times. We live in times when securing our jobs, rebuilding our homes, rebuilding our churches, rebuilding our businesses, rebuilding our economy, rebuilding our island should be our primary focus and concern. It is my primary focus and concern. I shall therefore, in keeping with my love for my island and people, never, never stop 
trying to help lift this country up. I shall never lose faith. I shall never lose hope in our ability to rebuild and rebound. And I call on you to do the same. At times like these, it is important that we pause as a people and unite in our, co in our common cause, St. Martin. And it is my hope that our love for St. Martin will prevail over all else. My fellow St. Martiners, looking back at my childhood, a beautiful childhood, I remember St. Martin's Day as a special day. When we came together to test our sporting skills. When we came together to participate in traditional family games. When we came together to demonstrate our best as a people. Let us therefore use this St. Martin's Day to reset, to refocus, and to be the best we can be for St. Martin. A St. Martin that stands united in love and that is prepared to address the immense, immense challenges we face. And in doing so, realize the vision of St. Martin Day to grow in unity, culturally, socially, and economically. That, my fellow St. Martiners, is our individual and shared responsibility to St. Martin San Martin, our home. It is with my undying faith in the strength and resilience of the people of St. Martin San Martin that I hereby, on behalf of my wife, Marie Louise, and myself, wish you a united, loving, and safe St. Martin's Day. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Telcel, when you Want more? GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NV. And Governor, as I observed you here this morning, I thought if only I could demonstrate and keep the calm that you are able to keep.
on the circumstances when I know your heart is hurting for the people of St. Martin. All our hearts are hurting. Oftentimes, following St. Martin's Day's speeches, we hear the comments from the population. What was that all about again? What were they saying? What did their speeches mean? And today, we ask ourselves, no, not we, I do surely ask myself, what do you say on a St. Martin's Day like today? I need St. Martin to understand that I was, and let's put it in the local parlance, my navel string is buried in Marigot. But your excellency, I am not able to tell the story that you were able to tell about growing up on St. Martin because I was not fortunate enough to have grown up on St. Martin because following Hurricane Donna in 1960, my mother who had just left St. Martin because there was not an opportunity here for her to take care of her family. But when she heard of the devastation of Hurricane Donna, she sent for her children. And without having much more on Aruba, she actually accepted us there. And she labored, and she labored, and she labored. And for her, the biggest thing was when she was able to say, I am going back to St. Martin. And she took the few possessions that she had, an old washing machine and a hamper amongst them, and put them on an Antilia boat and brought all of us to St. Martin. So your excellency, understand why I cannot under these, demon under these circumstances demonstrate your calm. Our island has been hurt. Every single person on this island has been touched on the 6th of September. You see this blue and white dress that I am wearing? And it goes not only with the red shoes, but also with a red hat. That was actually my attire planned for the opening of Parliament on the 12th of, of September. And it was at the seamstress, the dress that is, because it was a little too big. And on the 5th of September, seeing what was coming, she asked me to come and pick it up. The why the hat is not on today is because it's a big hat and I wanted you to be able to see my face as I am seeing yours. And so, the 6th of September, we had it planned, amongst other things, the opening of Parliament. And we know what happened. And it taught us in such a fundamental way that we can plan, but God decides. It taught us in a fundamental way that our plans for St. Martin can be destroyed in the wink of an eye. And so today, yes, it is good to come and give God thanks because, you know, if there are a few things we can say on this day is that we have a lot to be grateful for. We have a lot of people to thank, people who have seen us through the early hours following the destruction. And when I hit the hill of Cold Bay, following Hurricane Louis, and I looked at areas like K Hill, I too thought at that time that we could not overcome such disaster. But the people of St. Martin rose to the occasion. And the people of St. Martin realized that we had nowhere to go but here. And St. Martin was rebuilt in confidence. St. Martin was rebuilt because we wanted to build St. Martin back stronger and better than before. So today we give thanks to all of those who have come to our aid, but especially those persons, you and me, who went through the storm and still when we woke up and after the first tears were shed, said we have to rebuild St. Martin. Today we also got to be able to be grateful for the things that we have. What do we have? We have an island divided in two. We have a history that notwithstanding our differences, we were able to come together. We have to believe in who we were, who 
who we are today and who we will be in the future. And that's one island, St. Martin, St. Martin. And we should not allow the fear of a hurricane, the anxiety of a hurricane to make us do things that we will then come to regret for this beautiful island of St. Martin. So today we are grateful. Today we give thanks and today we can say that with the strength of the St. Martin people having come thus far, St. Martin will overcome and St. Martin will rise again and together we shall be strong and take St. Martin to higher heights. Often at the end of these type of speeches, we say, God bless St. Martin. And I want to say today, God bless God bless, God bless this country of ours over and over again because in the midst of the storm, he was there. Thank you and have a wonderful St. Martin Day. May God bless this country of ours with everything that he got because prayers is going to keep us going when nothing else is around. Thank you. Have a wonderful St. Martin's Day. Across St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to My Card worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell when you want more. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank, discover what's possible. Dear friends, we have just gone through an exceptional drama. 15 people lost their lives in this disaster, 11 on the French side, four on the dot side. Allow me to have a special thought for their loved ones and to honor their memory. The loss of these lives taken by the fury of nature will remain an open one for our community. I would like also to have a special word for Madame Yvette Fleming Hodge who passed away last Thursday at the age of 101. She was a great St. Martin woman. We can be proud of her commitment. She did so much for our both community. Today, as we celebrate St. Martin's Day, I have a special thought for her. And the members of her family, we send them all our support. We will never forget you, Madam Fleming. I also have a thought for our patron, Saint. 
Saint Martin of Tours, knows for offering the linen of his coat to a beggar who was cold. This generosity is remembered today as many of our fellow citizens are going through difficult times. I would add that November 11 is also the date of the armistice of the First World War, which we commemorated the 99th anniversary yesterday afternoon in Marigot with Madame la Préfète. On September 6th, Irma swept everything and we know that nothing will ever be the same again. Saint-Martin has already profoundly changed it. The outlines of our landscapes, our habits, our daily functioning, our perception of life, everything is new. We will have to reinvent together a new ideal for our friendly island. Admittedly, we have already overcome major hurricanes in the past. Louis, 1995, being from far the most striking. But the resilience of the St. Martin people of, is fortunately tenacious. We rebuilt step by step what made just a few weeks ago the attractiveness of St. Martin. After Louis, we were able to recreate this unique atmosphere that made our charm, this art of living in St. Martin that exclusively belongs to us. What more to say about our touristic destination with its unique sense of hospitality, the beauty of its beaches, and the variety of entertainment appreciated by all. Irma, which is today our new hurricane reference, will not take from our potential nor from our determination to overcome the heavy challenge ahead. Like the Phoenix, St. Martin will rebound from the ruins of Irma and will shine even more. Every St. Martin citizen must be convinced that we are doing everything in our power to get back on track and begin the long-awaited reconstruction. Let us draw from our cultural heritage and the richness of our past to rebuild and above all, rebuild ourselves better. Solidarity, hospitality, the sense of sharing our values that are dear to us. They resonate even more strongly today after having just suffered the worst catastrophe in our history. On this day of celebration, the Treaty of Concordia, signed in 1648, is in everyone's mind. I know that there will remind, remain, they will be, it will remain for a long time, an inspiration without borders and a shared desire to preserve our achievements and life and life together. From then on, North South Corporation is more than ever an obvious, even imperative necessity. Since EMI exchanges on social, security, migratory and economic strategy issues, which remain cross-cutting issues, must now be urgently addressed. The future of our island is at stake. You know my determination to go fast in this area. The creation of a united Congress of Saint-Martin, Saint-Martin is a tool I strongly believe in. I know that you too believe in the existence of this new common institution. It now remains to set the legal framework at the national level, and I know I can count on your support and my action to accelerate this process. Ladies and gentlemen, representatives and elected officials of St. Martin. In other words, cooperation should not be just a noble word. It must take all its dimension by becoming a real political act. 
I visited French Guyana in October to attend the 22nd European Regional President Conference. And I also received a delegation from the European Commission here in St. Martin last Tuesday to obtain additional European funds for reconstruction. Every time the European authorities confirmed their support for our affected territory. As part of our transnational cooperation, funds of about six million are being allocated to Saint Martin Reconstruction, access on the Interreg Caribbean program with the possibility to activate other financial levers to glen funds and to set up projects. There is also an envelope of 40 million on the Regional European Development Fund. It is necessar necessary to initiate projects on this particular axis. To continue my action, I will soon be going to Brussels to finalize this exchange and defend the interests of St. Martin. Thus, we have the utmost responsibility to work hand in hand in order to optimally utilize these funds for the reconstruction of our beautiful island, but also for our neighbors that compose the Leeward's Islands. Honorable Prime Minister, it is now, now or never, dear William, that we must act so that the North, South, Concord takes on its full meaning. I sincerely believe that we must put aside the sensitivities and the differences of the past to respond effectively and durably to the expectation of our fellow citizens and, the, and to the urgent needs of our territory. Mm -hmm.